Hi, this is Tony Mormino, and in this quick video, I'm going to answer the question, do heat wheels dehumidify? So what does it mean to dehumidify? What we're talking about is removing moisture from the air. And we define humidity as the actual amount of moisture in the air in terms of grains per pound. And if you're not familiar with what a grain is, it's a good question. So 7,000 grains is a pound of water. And a pound of water is about the size of a grande coffee from Starbucks at 16 ounces. 100 grains, which is we're typically dealing with, you know, grains in the level of, you know, 140 down to 60 ish, something like that in the normal HVAC world. And 100 grains, just for reference, is about the weight of a quarter. It's 0.2 ounces. So we're talking about a little bit of, of moisture here. So it's grains per pound of air. So what does one pound of air look like? If you were to take a pound of air and expand it out, it's 13 cubic feet, which is 2.35 feet times three. So 100 grains in a pound of air would be represented by this here. Actually, this quarter should probably be a little bit smaller. Just to give you a frame of reference there. So we're talking about heat wheels here. Uh, let's look at an energy recovery wheel and see what happens. So you have your outside air at 95.78, which has a grain level of about 118 grains. Let's say your return air is 75 degrees, 50% RH, which has a grain level of 65 grains. Obviously, you would expect that to be less than the outside air. As the outside air comes into the wheel and leaves the wheel, the wheel absorbs some of the humidity, so the grain level is less. It rejects that humidity or grains to the atmosphere. So as you can see, an energy recovery wheel does dehumidify the outside air because we're going from 118 to 180 grains. Now, here's the thing. Will this dehumidify your space? Okay, so let's say we take this air leaving the energy recovery wheel and dump it into an occupied space. For purpose of this example, the space is being held at 75 degrees, 50% RH, which has a humidity level of 65 grains per pound. And just for reference, that's a 55 degree dew point. So if you took this discharge air off the heat wheel at 80 grains and dumped it into a space where we're trying to control 65 grains, obviously that doesn't dehumidify. But we don't normally do that. We attach it to some sort of packaged or split system DX unit or chill water unit. So we take this air, put it through a coil, and we leave the unit somewhere around 50 degrees to 55 degrees, which has a humidity level of about 55 grains. So you can see this air is cool and dry enough to absorb the heat and humidity in the space to achieve the design conditions. So what happens at part load? So let's say it's a part load day, it's October, it's 70 degrees outside and raining. And if we are putting 50 degree air into the space on a day like that, there probably will become a time where we're overcooling the space. So the air conditioner is gonna back off. Let's say you had a modulated compressor in here to 60 degrees. And as you can see, the grain level is now 70 grains per pound, which is more and what we have in the space. So what this is trying to show you here is that just because you have a heat wheel or energy recovery device on your air conditioning equipment, it does not mean you're protected as far as humidity goes in the space. You could take this even further at 60 degrees. Let's say you were still overcooling the space and the unit cycled off. Well, you'd just be dumping this really uh, hot and humid air into the space. So the the solution here is to have some sort of active humidity control like a hot gas reheat. Okay, we thank you for watching. And if you are interested in learning more about psychrometrics, we do have a new webinar coming out called How to Read a Psychrometric Chart. And if you wanna sign up, you can sign up for this right now, reserve your spot. It's an online webinar, it's only 35 minutes long, it's pretty short. If you're watching this on your laptop or desktop, just click and on YouTube, just click this little blue link below here. It will take you to a reservation screen. It will talk about the date. Don't worry about this date here. This is the current date at the time of this video. So you will see the most avail current available date. 
Anyway, you click on this spot. It's going to just ask you for your name and email. You can sign up and we hope you'll join us. If you're on your cell phone, uh, it's a different way to connect to that link. You have to hit this down arrow. It will expose this link here. Go ahead and click on it and it will take you to the same sign up page. You, your project. In the world of commercial HVAC, we know that whether you design, construct, own, or maintain buildings, you need a partner committed to getting your project done right, on time and on budget. Welcome to your network of partners. Connecting more than 20 offices across the country with over 500 associates working together, delivering the right HVAC solution for your project. One national network with one local purpose your success. Because working together, we're stronger. Insight Partners.